For this video, I will be using the Baby Lock Aspire, and your sewing machine may vary slightly from this one. However, they're all pretty much the same, so uh, there'll be a little variance maybe, but uh, you could pretty much follow along here in this video and figure out what uh, the same part is on your sewing machine. Okay, so the first part we're going to talk about is the presser foot. And what the presser foot does is it presses down onto the fabric and holds the fabric um, between the presser foot and the feed dogs, which are down below. And we'll talk about that some more later. Um, so you have your fabric and it slides under the presser foot here. Now, if, see right now, the presser foot is up. And uh, if we kept it up, you wouldn't be it wouldn't be sewing so there is a lever usually it's on the back side over here or over here and on my sewing machine it's over here and I'm going to move the camera to show you so this is the back side of the sewing machine and my hand is going through the open area right here and here's the lever and you lower and raise the presser foot so again, I'm raising it and lowering the presser foot, and you can see it goes up and down. So you put your fabric in like you're about ready to sew, and you lower the presser foot, and then your sewing machine, you press down on your foot pedal, and the sewing machine will go. So it pushes um, the fabric against the feed dogs, and then the feed dogs move the fabric. Now, there are um, different presser feet to that you can use. This presser foot is a, a basic one, and I'm going to show you an assortment of other feet that usually come with your sewing machine. Okay, so here are some uh, presser feet that you can attach to your sewing machine. These came with my sewing machine, and uh, yours may have different feet. Um, and then your owner's manual can go over what each of these feet do. But... Um, you, it has different purposes for each one. Okay, I have a shot here of the back side of the sewing machine and the, the back part of the uh, presser foot. You can see the presser foot is here. Now, with my sewing machine, uh, to re in order to remove this presser foot, you push that lever right there and you saw how the presser foot dropped. Uh, some sewing machines, they pop off and you just pop them right off. I think a Singer Simple has that still, but a lot of your sewing machines um, just have a little lever back here that releases it. Now, I know we're moving the camera back and forth and maybe getting a little dizzy here, but uh, we want to show you all the different um, details and ha give you a clear understanding of how uh, to do all of this. So in order to put your presser foot on, as you can see I have it here and it's loose, in order to put it on, you line it up right under the the shaft, the presser foot holder right here. It's attached to the shaft. So you line it up to this because that's what it attaches to and then you lower your presser foot down and you saw, look at that. So if I lower it down like that, it's wrong because it's not lined up. So you line up this little bar right there to the clamp and it just rests down on there and it attaches so it just snaps right on. Okay so the next part of the sewing machine that we want to show you is the shank and that's this little bar right here that the presser foot is actually attached to. Here's the needle, right behind it is the shank. Now I'm going to move the camera and show you how the presser foot is attached. Okay so again this is the shank, we're looking at it from the other side and you can see um, this little attachment here is attached to the shank by a screw and that is what snaps onto the presser foot. So if you have a uh, an attachment that you need to attach to this, sometimes you need to remove this screw and you do so using, usually you get a screw driver, a little miniature screwdriver that comes with your sewing machine and you use that and you just 
release it. Don't take the screw out. You don't need to. You just release it. I lifted the presser foot up. I lifted the shaft up, I should say. And this whole piece came out. And you can see here, this is that button I was talking about earlier, and it releases the presser foot. And then to attach it, you put it back on. So sometimes you may have to uh, take this part off. Normally you don't have to take this off uh, to put the press to take it off and on the presser foot. But I wanted to show you how to do that so you be aware. So I lift the lever up to get the shaft up. I lowered it down. Now it's resting to all the way down. And then I take the screwdriver and tighten that little screw. And you want it snug. Okay, so we have a straight on view here to the front side of the sewing machine. And the next part we're going to talk about is the feed dogs. As you can see, I uh, removed the presser foot and the little attachment. I also removed the sewing needle so that we can get a clear view of the feed dogs here underneath. Now we're not talking about the plate. We're not talking about where the bobbin goes. On this. this is a top loading uh, sewing machine so the bobbin goes on the top. What we're talking about are the feed dogs and they're down in this groove here okay I'm gonna remove the plate so that you can see the feed dogs so you can see a closer view of the feed dogs this whole bar when the sewing machine is running this whole it moves the feed dogs back and forth and if you feel them on your sewing machine you'll feel um, these metal teeth and they're small little metal teeth and that is what raises this whole bar will raise up and move forward or move backward and then lower like if it's doing this if it's going up and back down forward up back down forward what that does is in it goes up it grabs the fabric and pushes it back and then it does the opposite when you push reverse, of course. So that's feed dogs. And you can see when I mentioned it goes forward and then it goes up, it just barely gets above this little plate and it just lightly grabs the fabric and pushes it back. And that's what helps you to sew. Okay, so there are times when your feed dogs will need to be lowered. And every sewing machine is different, but I want to show you on this sewing machine how it is done. Um, you will need to read your owner's manual and uh, see how you do it. So I took the storage container off. A lot of sewing machines have that. And down here and underneath, you'll see here this uh, little mark. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Okay, so here is a close-up view of it. Um, here is the lever right here. It can go back and forth. And, um, and then there's a, a diagram here. And you can see what are two triangles. And those would be the teeth. And then the line would be the plate. And so if you want the teeth raised up, and of course that's your normal sewing, uh, the, the lever would be moved over to the left. Uh, and then on the right here, it shows the teeth being under the line. And that is where you would want it to be, uh, that setting, for if you're going to, like, sew on a button with your sewing machine. You want your teeth down because you're sewing in the same spot. You don't want your fabric to move. So, of course, you always want the teeth up for regular sewing.
So the next part on the sewing machine that I want to show you is the bobbin winder. And normally it's up here in the top right hand corner of your sewing machine. And it does exactly what it's called and that it winds the thread onto the bobbin. Uh, we do have a video on how to do that. You can check out our videos on our YouTube channel um, and it will show you how to wind a bobbin. Okay, so uh, next to my bobbin winder is my spool holder and this holds the spool of thread in place and uh, this little cap right here uh, holds it down onto the spool so that it doesn't go flying off or anything. So you see here, I got down low here um, to show you um, the screw. Um, sometimes there's a nub, a little knob, or a screw that, that tightens up the, the needle here. So first you will need to loosen that and um, while you're doing that you need to also hold your needle in place or it will drop down into the feed dogs here and down into your sewing machine. So hold on to your needle and while you loosen the knob. Now my needle is fine. Um, I don't need to replace it so I will be putting it back in. But I want to show you here um, on your sewing machine needles you have a flat side and then there is a rounded side. Now um, the flat side goes to the back so this would be put on wrong be incorrect to put it on this way because that is the flat side facing forward. So you turn it around and it needs to be put like that. So you could feel with your pointer finger the flat side. So you put it down in here. Don't drop it. It's why the reason why I warned to not drop it because that's going to go down into your sewing machine it's going to disappear and you're going to have to take the plate off and look for it and if you're lucky you'll find it but more than likely you're going to have to turn your sewing machine upside down and and uh, open the bottom side of it to get your needle out so that's not fun so flat side in the back and you find the hole you can feel it it goes up in there so you push all the way up and when it doesn't go anymore then you tighten the screw now you can tighten it by hand till it doesn't turn anymore and then you give it a little tighten with the screw you want that tight you do not want your needle coming out while you're sewing I had that happen one time it wasn't fun <laughs> 